Sir Alex Ferguson barred from players' dressing room by Manchester United. Manchester United's football board, which includes Sir Alex Ferguson, have been asked to refrain from entering the players' dressing room, according to reports. On Tuesday, it emerged that United have terminated Ferguson's £2.6 million a year ambassadorial role as part of their cost cutting measures. Former United striker Eric Cantona, one of Ferguson's best ever signings during his 26 year reign at Old Trafford, branded the club's decision as a lack of respect and totally scandalous. Mail Online reports that in addition to Ferguson's role being axed, the 82-year-old is among the senior figures who have been instructed to stay away from the players' changing room on match days. The report claims that Ferguson has not been banned but there is a collective understanding over who visits the players' inner sanctum. Leading figures at United have always been welcomed inside the changing room, even after Ferguson's retirement, including directors and former players. Former United captain Michael Carrick revealed that Sir Bobby Charlton, who died last year, was a frequent visitor to the players' dressing room and that his input was welcomed. He comes into the changing room after every single game, his support in unwavering Carrick said in 2019. Ever since I came to the club that's something that stands out the support you've got from real legends and icons. Not just from this club, but throughout football. Sir Bobby has been a huge support for me personally, but for every single player. Whether it is a good result or bad result he comes and shakes your hand and tells you not to worry it'll be better next week, or well done and more of the same next week, depending on the result. During old Gunnar Solskjaer's reign, Ferguson was invited into the dressing room on multiple occasions, including after United knocked Paris Saint-Germain out of the Champions League at the Parc des Princes in 2019. It's great to see the boss in there, Solskjaer said after his side's win in the French capital. It's understood that Ferguson's reaction to his contract being terminated by United was amicable. United have also made it clear that the Scot is still welcome to attend games at Old Trafford. Earlier on Tuesday, former United defender Rio Ferdinand wrote on X, if Sir Alex can be taken out, then N01 is safe at Manchester United, anyone can get it now. Inio sending a message to anyone at the club? Rio Ferdinand hits back at Thomas Tuchel complaints and those calling for FA to appoint English manager. Rio Ferdinand has hit back at criticism over the decision to appoint Thomas Tuchel as England manager and predicts the German will win a trophy with the Three Lions. The Football Association has now reached an agreement for Tuchel to become Gareth Southgate's permanent successor, with the 51-year-old signing an 18-month deal worth around £5 million a year. The FA, who had also held informal talks with Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola, has come under fire from some supporters for overlooking English candidates such as Graham Potter and Newcastle United boss Eddie Howe. But Ferdinand insists fans should not care about the nationality of the England manager and believes Tuchel, who has won league titles with Bayern Munich and Paris Saint-Germain, as well as the Champions League with Chelsea in 2021, was the best candidate available. I heard there were rumors that they were talking about Pep and wanting to get Pep in but obviously his situation with Man City he's there, has a contract, makes it difficult, Ferdinand said on his YouTube channel on Tuesday evening. Thomas Tuchel becomes the third non-British permanent manager of the England team after Sven-Goran Eriksson, God rest his soul, and Fabio Capello, both managers I played for. I think that's a contentious issues for quite a lot of fans, not all, but a lot of fans, I don't know how much percentage-wise. I've seen murmurings, I've seen articles that are written by people, the FA should be patriotic, we should have an English manager, there are so many good English managers, young ones that are waiting, Graham Potter, I keep seeing his name put in there. You want the best to do it. I don't care, I'm one of those guys, if we win a World Cup or a Euros, all those guys who are writing those articles, I'm going to save them, because they're the guys who will be screaming, waving their legs about, losing their voice, drinking 12 pints after it and celebrating, and they will not be talking about, oh no, we've got a German who's managing us. That will not be the conversation because if he, Tuchel, wins it, it's immortal. This is an opportunity for these guys to become immortal, and this is why I think Thomas Tuchel is licking his lips, this is the chance to put himself above anybody in this country right now, up there along with Sir Alf Ramsey. Great names tried, big names, Big personalities and characters tried, quality coaches tried, couldn't deliver. That is the opportunity that is in front of him and I think that's a wonderful place to be. The biggest thing is that I think anybody taking over the reins of this squad is sitting there going, a whisker away from winning two finals and I'm coming in to save the day. 
What an opportunity. This isn't like he's coming into a squad that are on their knees, who are old and past it, he's coming into a young, vibrant, confident, aggressive squad that are just sitting there going, somebody take our hand and lead us, lead us over the line, somebody lead us to the promised land in an England shirt, we're getting to the door, we're knocking but can't get through. Manchester United set huge asking price for winger Anthony. Manchester United are keen to offload winger Anthony after his disastrous two seasons at Old Trafford. The Brazilian joined United in 2022 from Ajax in an eye-watering £85 million deal. But Anthony scored just 12 times in 85 appearances for the club and his second season at the club was particularly poor. Anthony's now fourth-choice winger at the club, behind Marcus Rashford, Ahmad Diallo, and Alejandro Garnacho. That seen Anthony limited to just one start this term, in the League Cup, when he scored a penalty in a 7-0 win against Barnsley. United are now minded to get rid of Anthony, particularly given the club's financial constraints which will be hindered further if they fail to qualify for the Champions League. But the Daily Mail say United are seeking an ambitious £40 million to sell Anthony. That figure is likely to put off most suitors, unless Anthony can attract interest from a club in Saudi Arabia. Anthony's wages are also likely to put off potential suitors, with the Brazilian earning around £150,000 a week at Old Trafford. He has four years to run on his existing deal. Manchester United summer signing Manuel Ugarte suffers injury blow ahead of Brentford clash. Manchester United have been dealt yet another injury concern after Manuel Ugarte was forced off with a muscle problem in Uruguay's World Cup qualifying match with Ecuador. Ugarte has been used sparingly by Eric Ten Hag since swapping Paris Saint-Germain for Old Trafford and the 23-year-old was not even called upon for the club's last two matches against Porto and Aston Villa. But Ugarte was given the nod versus Ecuador after playing the full 90 minutes of Uruguay's previous clash with Peru with Real Madrid's Federico Valverde starting alongside him in the middle of the park in Montevideo. Ugarte has completed 90 minutes just once since arriving at United and the midfielder appeared on course to see out the full game in the Uruguayan capital, only to go down in a heap and some discomfort in the closing stages. According to Uruguayan outlet Tenfield, Ugarte threw himself to the ground and asked to be substituted, with Nicolas Fonseca coming on in his place for the remaining few minutes of the goalless draw. The report claims Ugarte complained of a muscle pain in his right thigh and after examining him, Uruguay's doctor, Enrique Ramos, placed an ice pack on the affected area. While the severity of the injury remains unclear, it puts Ugarte's possible involvement in United's upcoming clash with Brentford in some doubt. It has proven an immensely frustrating international break for the Red Devils, with Lisandro Martinez, Alejandro Garnacho, Kabi Menu, Ahmad Diallo, Mason Mount and Harry Maguire all struggling for fitness. Ten Hag has also been without Luke Shaw, Lenny Yoro, and Tyrell Malaysia, who are all long-term absentees. Summer signing Nusser Mazraoui, meanwhile, underwent surgery after experiencing heart palpitations and is expected to be absent for at least the next month. It has been a woeful start to the 2024-25 campaign for United, with the club languishing down in 14th place in the Premier League table. Ten Hag led the club to 8th, their lowest ever finish in the Premier League, last term, and their start this season is their worst since the division, as we now know it, began. But a defiant Ten Hag retains the backing of United's hierarchy for the time being, despite rumours and speculation continuing to swirl over his future.